for volunteering at Homeless Connect. For any new volunteers, we are really looking forward to having you be part of the team. And for previous volunteers, welcome back. We are so happy you could volunteer again. Please view this entire orientation video, even if you have volunteered previously, as we have updated some information. It's also great to refresh your memory. Each year, Brisbane City Council and Volunteering Queensland join forces with over 300 Queensland volunteers to orchestrate the annual Homeless Connect event. Each event supports over 650 vulnerable members of the Brisbane community and has helped almost 20,000 people since its inception in 2006. Volunteers play a vital role at Homeless Connect and generously provide over 2,400 hours in the lead up and during the event. Volunteers work across all areas of Homeless Connect, including setting up on bump-in day, sorting donations, packaging food, providing meals, delivering medical and allied health services, cutting transformative hairstyles, performing live entertainment, and much more. Every task undertaken makes a real difference, and we appreciate you sharing your time and skills to create a day that people experiencing homelessness or who are at risk of homelessness look forward to. Guests are provided with essentials such as clothes, food, and professional services, which can really make a difference to their health and comfort. But it's more than just about basic needs. Homeless Connect is a day where volunteers help guests feel welcome and included, where they can have a fun day out with entertainment and quality food, and they know you are all there because you care about them. ABS statistics showed that one in 200 Australians are homeless. While homelessness is increasing, only 7% of people who are homeless are rough sleepers, or what we perceive of as living on the streets. Most are living in overcrowded dwellings, couch surfing, staying in unsafe situations, or they may be in boarding houses and other short-term crisis accommodation. Jenny Smith from Homelessness Australia said, unless you have a safe place to live and privacy and security, it isn't a home. And without a proper home, everyday life is very difficult to manage. The reasons for people experiencing homelessness are complex and vary from person to person, but can include domestic violence, traumatic experiences, family breakdown, physical and mental illness, disability, loss of income and rising costs of living. Please note this orientation video includes specific details for the event day. However, there is health and safety and logistical information that is very important for bump in day volunteers. Let's go through everything you need to know about your shift. Before you arrive, please read the volunteer info pack and familiarize yourself with the site map and your role. Plan your commute, allowing 10 minutes before your shift's start time, factoring in traffic delays. Be prepared for the likelihood that you will be on your feet and working for most of the day. All roles require you to repeatedly bend and lift medium weight items around the site. Therefore, wear comfortable and appropriate clothing and non-slip enclosed shoes. It will be a hot day, so please slip slop slap. Sunscreen will be available in the volunteer room if needed. Remember to bring your own water bottle to help reduce our environmental footprint. There will be water stations around the site. Bring your ID to get into the venue. Lunch is provided for bump in day volunteers. Breakfast and lunch is provided to event day volunteers. Some vegetarian and gluten free lunches will be provided. But if you have complex dietary needs or severe allergies, please bring your own food. Please note, there is no refrigeration available for volunteers' food. Volunteers wearing a volunteer wristband can leave their personal items in the volunteer cloakroom. However, we are not able to take responsibility for any loss or damage to your belongings. We recommend keeping valuable items to a minimum. Keep essentials like your keys and phone in your pocket or in the pouches provided by Volunteering Queensland. When you arrive on site, show your ID to the volunteers at the front of house tables and sign in. Names will be listed in alphabetical order by first name. You will then receive your volunteer wristband and t-shirt. There is a change room available and toilets nearby to change into the t-shirt. Medical staff and hairdressers are welcome to wear their own uniform if they prefer. Next, go to the volunteer room where you can collect a name tag and store your bag. Please note that staff will be present throughout the day, but this is not a secure area and the event's insurance does not cover theft of personal belongings. Make sure you attend your team briefing at the start of your shift. These will be conducted by your team leader in your work area. All volunteers are welcome to take a short break. Refreshments are provided near the volunteer room. Ensure you notify your team leader about where you are going. 
It is important to remember that spending too much time near the volunteer room means you miss out on the opportunities to connect with the guests. At the end of the day, after the guests leave, there is still important work to do. Everyone who is physically able will be expected to help pack up. Once you've packed up your allocated area, please assist other site areas as needed. This is a big job if left to a few tired people at the end of the day. But if we all do a little, the site will be packed up quickly. After you have helped pack up, you will go to the volunteer room to give any feedback from the day and return your Homeless Connect t-shirt. All t-shirts are professionally cleaned in preparation for the next event. You will then head to the sign out desk to sign out. Please do not forget to do this. Homeless Connect is a chance to step outside your comfort zone, especially if you're volunteering with people you don't know. Take every opportunity to talk with guests. Your friendly smile could make their day a great one. Being able to provide information about the event ensures guests can make the most out of the services and activities. We would love to see you all sitting and talking with guests during your lunch break to make the most of the Homeless Connect experience. Understand that some of our guests may take a while to trust new people. They may feel uncomfortable in the crowded and hectic environment. Gently approach guests. If they don't feel like talking to you, please don't take it personally. If you are unsure of anything, ask your team leader. If your team leader is unsure, they can ask the volunteer coordinator for assistance. If at any time you have difficulty finding your team leader or an event organizer, look for other team leaders wearing bright blue shirts. Please note that the entrance for volunteers and service providers is via 665 Gregory Terrace, Bowen Hills. This volunteer area will also turn into an exit for guests once the event commences. The guest entrance is on Alexandria Street and will open at 8.30 a.m. Breakfast will be served to guests in a designated area within the venue. However, guests will not have access to the rest of the venue until the event officially opens at 9 a.m. Please note there is no designated smoking area inside the event. Staff, volunteers and guests will need to exit the site to smoke and then return back into the site. Please do not take photos of guests. If you take a selfie or photo of fellow volunteers to record your experience, please be mindful to respect the privacy and safety of people in the background. Please do not post photos of people without their permission. There will unfortunately be no free parking for volunteers either day. There is paid street parking adjoining the event venue. However, please note, these car parks are quite limited and generally fill up quite early in the day. Alternatively, volunteers can park in nearby off-street car parks. We recommend volunteers use public transport to and from the event where possible. The venue is within close walking distance to both Bowen Hills and Fortitude Valley railway stations. There is also the option of getting dropped off at the loading zone located directly outside the venue on Gregory Terrace between Exhibition Street and Alexandria Street. This is a loading zone only and cannot be used for long-term parking. Medical teams, hairdressers and service providers can use the loading zone for equipment they need to drop off on bump-in day. Volunteer coordinators will be there to help. There is an access needs car park located directly next to the event site. Please contact the event organisers if you require access to this car park. There will be guests and volunteers coming to the event from diverse backgrounds and with differing requirements. If you think there is someone who may need extra assistance, always have a polite conversation with the individual and ask if they would like any help. Respect their response and if they say no, then be polite and do not help. Reiterate you are there if they need anything and let them be. Never automatically help someone or take over without asking first. We anticipate that most volunteers are not trained in manual handling and caring for individuals. For example, if someone requests to be transferred from a wheelchair to a seat, try and explain that you are not medically trained and escalate to your team leader or find a professional medical team member on site to assist. Helping an individual with lifting or carrying can lead to health and safety issues for both the volunteer and guest. If you are a volunteer with accessibility requirements, please contact us so we are aware and can plan accordingly in advance. If you identify or witness any safety issues, hazards or incidents, immediately alert your team leader and they will coordinate with the Brisbane City Council event management team. Please do not do anything that puts your own health and safety or that of your fellow volunteers 
all the guests at risk. If you feel unable to work your shift or complete your task for whatever reason, advise your team leader so they can decide the appropriate action to take, whether that is to provide you with additional support, find someone else who can do the work, or reconsider whether the task needs to be done. If you are sick or injured, please notify your team leader and report to First Aid immediately. First Aid is located in Expo Place 1, directly next to the hairdressers. If you have a grievance, feel uncomfortable, or if someone behaves inappropriately towards you, please advise your team leader or the official event staff immediately. If your issue is not resolved satisfactorily, raise it with Volunteering Queensland or Brisbane City Council event organisers. You can also debrief about non-critical issues with the volunteer room attendants. Your volunteer info pack will include an emergency contact number in case you cannot reach your team leader. Please enter the number into your phone. In the event of an emergency, please follow the directions given by Volunteering Queensland and Brisbane City Council staff. There are two evacuation assembly points. The primary area is located in the vacant block of land on the corner of St. Paul's Terrace and Alexandria Street, marked E1 on the map. The secondary area is located in the main arena across the road from Gregory Terrace, marked E2 on the map. Information relating to the venue, including emergency exits, will be explained in further detail as part of your on-site team briefing. Once you are on site, please also look around to familiarise yourself with your nearest exit. Most jobs involve some form of manual handling. Therefore, it is essential that you adopt the correct techniques to carry, lift, push, pull or move objects. Poor carrying and lifting techniques can lead to a range of injuries. Some quick tips for manual handling include warming up prior to lifting, assessing the load, keeping a straight back, bending at the knees. Only lift items within your limits and ask for assistance when required. To avoid the spreading of germs, please consider the following. Clean, wipe down and disinfect surfaces regularly. Wash hands with soap. Avoid sharing personal items. Wear PPE when required. Stay home if you are unwell. Follow any government recommendations. Brisbane City Council will provide masks should you wish to wear one. Let's look at a brief overview for each role so you know what is required of you and your fellow volunteers. Please refer to your information pack for a detailed breakdown of your role and meeting point. Your team leader will also explain your duties at the beginning of your shift. First, we have bump in day. Roles include bump in assistance. Tasks will include setting up all areas around the venue, sorting pallets of mixed donations, pre-packaging grocery bags, setting up tables and chairs. Directions will be given to you on the day. Volunteer Room Assistance The Volunteer Room is managed by Volunteering Queensland staff. Duties include helping set up the Volunteer Room, welcoming and signing in fellow volunteers, cloaking bags for all volunteers. Kitchen Hands Volunteers from Rapid Relief Team will serve lunch for the Bump In Day volunteers. They will also prepare for event day and help keep the kitchen area clean. Stephen Taylor from Rapid Relief Team will provide further instruction. Professional Services we recommend hairdressers, barbers, service providers and medical providers deliver equipment to the site on bump-in day and to set up your stall or booth ready for the guests to arrive on the event day at 9am. Now for the volunteer roles required on the event day, these include Volunteer Room Assistants Volunteering Queensland staff work in the volunteer room. Duties include Storing bags of all volunteers Tidying and restocking the refreshments area as needed Checking on volunteers Front of house attendants Process all venue entrants So be prepared for a fast start to the morning. Everyone who enters the venue must be given a wristband. Different colours indicate whether the person is a general volunteer, a service provider or a guest. There are two different entrances, one for the volunteers and one for the guests. If you are posted on the volunteer entry located on Gregory Terrace, then you will also check volunteers' identification and distribute t-shirts. In the afternoon, you will need to ensure every volunteer and service provider has signed out before they leave. General Volunteers General volunteers assist wherever required. This role may include supporting the team by filling shifts, supporting the COVID safe guidelines, covering volunteers for lunch breaks, managing queues, giving directions, assisting photographers with consent release forms, general cleaning, and assisting team leaders. Another important part of this role includes interacting with guests, helping guests plan their day and providing information about venue layout, ensuring guests maximize the services and activities on offer. Kitchen hands. Kitchen hands are from Rapid Relief Team. 
You'll help ensure all guests and volunteers are fed. Your duties will include preparing and serving food and drinks and keeping the food area clean and tidy. Volunteers will run meals to the medical team and service providers. You will also ensure people with dietary needs receive their meals accordingly. For all kitchen roles, it is important to follow food hygiene and safety directions given by your team leader. All kitchen hand volunteers will need to wear a cap or hairnet. If you have long hair, please tie it back off your face. Bus drivers and bus attendants. Brisbane City Council are providing several buses and minibuses to help transport guests. The buses run from accommodation services and other predetermined locations to Homeless Connect and back again via a set route. The buses will be driven by Brisbane City Council employees. As volunteer bus assistants, you will assist guests and their luggage on and off the buses. Record any data required from Brisbane City Council about the number of passengers, chat to the guests, wipe down frequent touch points, and answer questions about the bus route. Cloakroom attendants and porters. You will provide a secure place for guests to store their belongings while they attend the event. Guests will likely come back to leave bags of clothing and groceries while they enjoy the rest of their day. You will also assist guests with carrying their bags to and from the cloakroom. Clothing store assistance. Guests are issued two bags when they arrive at the clothing store. They can choose as many items of clothing as they can fit in their two bags. As clothing is chosen, volunteers restock supplies out to the tables. The team leader from the Salvation Army is experienced and it will be important to follow their direction to ensure guests get their clothes in an orderly manner. Food store assistance. At the food store, Guests obtain grocery bags of non-perishable food and toiletries. If guests are not happy with their items, they will be encouraged to swap with other guests. Items for babies and women's hygiene products will be available in separate areas. Invite guests to store their bags in the cloakroom to make it easier to get around. Medical. The medical center and allied health volunteers work from the allocated booth. These event professionals include doctors, nurses, dentists, optometrists, audiologists, podiatrists, and physiotherapists. Queensland Ambulance Service and Brisbane City Council Immunisation Team are also involved. Volunteer medical appointment assistants are part of this team and will direct guests to services, book appointments and collect statistics. Hairdressers and barbers. Stations will be set up with chairs, mirrors and lighting. You are required to bring your own equipment, including scissors, spray bottles, capes, hand mirrors and brushes. You will all be rewarded by seeing guests visibly transformed by a professional haircut that helps them look and feel great. Volunteer hairdresser appointment assistants are part of this team and will assist with bookings, keep the area tidy and collect statistics. Photographers. You will capture positive vibes of Homeless Connect by taking photos of guests, volunteers and entertainers, all with their permission. This role requires you to be confident, friendly and respectful when interacting with guests and volunteers. General volunteers will provide assistance with photo consent release forms. Service providers. Service providers are staff or volunteers from a broad variety of government departments and not-for-profit organizations who have been invited to set up stalls to provide information to support guests. Brisbane City Council are managing the service providers. Other roles. If your role has not been mentioned, you will receive further information from Volunteering Queensland or Brisbane City Council directly. Remember, all positions include helping with end of day pack up, unless you are on an early shift. Homeless Connect is a huge event with many different areas, equipment and resources. As the day draws to a close, there is a great deal of packing up to do and all volunteers are asked to do their part. Your team leader will provide specific instructions for packing up your area. Once your team leader has closed your area, then go to the volunteer room for directions on what other tasks need to be completed. Please don't leave before assisting in the pack up process. As always, Volunteering Queensland was overwhelmed by the interest from people wanting to volunteer for this event. We have a long wait list of volunteers who missed out. Shift quotas have been allocated to provide enough volunteer power to perform the tasks needed for a successful event and to ensure there is enough work for each volunteer. We want everyone leaving feeling like they made a valuable contribution. If you are unable to attend your rostered shift for Homeless Connect, please let us know as soon as possible so we can invite other volunteers on our waiting list to fill your place. If you have any questions before the day, please email homelessconnect at volunteeringqld.org.au. This event could not be achieved without the dedication of wonderful volunteers and we sincerely thank you for contributing your time to support Brisbane's vulnerable members of the community. Make sure you press I have watched the orientation video below and then click submit to let us know you have completed your orientation. Thank you for your time spent viewing this orientation video. By being aware of what you need to do, you are helping the day be safe, fun, rewarding and enjoyable for everyone. See you soon. Thank you.